Hello and welcome to makeup day for day 31 of my 7 week challenge to post a video every day. I'm not sure if you can tell but my voice is a little raspy. I am definitely sick. I I mean I was, wasn't was feeling great yesterday. Today I'm a lot more congested and just constantly blowing my nose and this kind of like these skin issues that I had on my upper lip were actually they had really been clearing up for a few days and then now they're gonna get way worse because I'm blowing my nose so I'm rubbing on that area with the Kleenex so that's getting a lot worse I'm getting I am a little nervous about the um, I'm nervous about the flights I have two flights and that's a lot of pressure air pressure altitude pressure <laughs> changes and Ever since I did scuba diving, on my last dive, I kind of, I wasn't able to, there's a word where you gotta like pop your ears and stuff, um, and I had it before, equalize, I think, I wasn't able to, I was having trouble equalizing my last dive, and since then, when I get colds, like my sinuses here are, are a lot worse, like this area, and I flew once before, while sick and it like I can't eat, I, it feels like there's like a giant nail like or two I guess like in there so I'm not looking forward to that I'm hoping maybe it won't be too bad but we'll see but that's two flights unfortunately <sighs> so hopefully that goes okay anyway I just wanted to this morning share a little travel tip now I'm not sure if I'm necessarily in the greatest place to share since I am sick, so it's it's not ideal. This is not my ideal meal plan. Normally I'm eating a lot of vegetables, so I'm getting a lot of nutrients from that. I tried to always make sure I was getting some veggies with my dinner, but I was not getting enough or as much as I am used to, so I'm sure that is why my body is failing and I was actually going to talk more about being sick the next video so yeah let's just cut that part here I just want to talk about some travel snack tips just some ideas if you ever are struggling with that there are two that I bought ahead and brought the first one is called faux nola and what I like I actually I'll just show both and the second one is chocolate chip mint larva what I like about both of these is that they're very simple. They're both fruit and nut bars, but they have under 10 ingredients each. And they, like there are a lot of energy bars and stuff like that, but I find when there's so many different things added, it I, they, either it's too sweet or I just it doesn't even taste like food anymore, where these actually taste like food. So that's why I love them. They're not too sweet. They're not too sal salty. They're both like perfect for me. So in the Fonola, it is uh, cocoa and orange flavored, or that's the naturally flavored, and the ingredients, it is gluten free, vegan, no sugar added, and the ingredients are dates, cashews, almond flour, almonds, uh, cacao powder, coffee, and orange oil. And these I specifically brought as my breakfast while I was doing the seminar, because I don't drink coffee, I don't like the taste, I don't like drinking coffee but I like it as a flavoring and thing so I thought that would give me a little extra caffeine in the morning because it is we don't I didn't sleep very well or very much while I was here so I brought I actually brought four of these and I brought two I, I bought a whole case of Lara bars so I had enough for at least two a day and these ones are mint chocolate they're mint chocolate chip and the chocolate chip actually has the most ingredients of all. Now, of course, I can't find... There it is. I can find the ingredients. Dates, almonds, semi-sweet chocolate chips, which is unsweetened chocolate, sugar, cacao butter, vanilla, and vanilla extract, um, cashews, cocoa powder, and peppermint oil. So. It's very similar, just a different flavor. This one's more minty. This one is more orangey. And they're great snacks for 
traveling and also for if you're in a course because you can't if I couldn't be eating a meal these kind of tied me over for the day because I would have the square one the fonola in the morning and then we had two short breaks and then a dinner break later so I would have one bar around each break and I mean I was still hungry but it helped a lot to tide me over throughout the day so if you're like me and you don't like things too sweet or too so I do like too salty but I didn't want to be drinking too salty anyway I'm also a little loopy because I am tired and sick and not necessarily thinking clearly but I'm gonna get in my videos I'm gonna try to do another one on my layover so that is it for today some travel tips of suggested snacks and my arm is getting very sore so thank you for watching and I hope to tune in later today okay bye